What's going on, everybody? It's the Daily Commute. It's your boy V Dub Vincent Wolf. I am on my way to work. Um, just want to talk about a couple things. So, I got my uh, second vaccine shot. This is like looking like uh, there it is. I got my second vaccine shot, and. I'm fine. Um, I'm okay. I ordered the video yesterday, but I went around, went after work, and I didn't sleep very well the night before. So, like, I got out of work, went home, right, got out of work, went there, did it, came home, went right to sleep. <laughs> then got up, I had to do some of my errands to make this video. So, I'm fine. You know, it's really the vaccine. I took the Pfizer one. It's proteins to help your body fight against the coronavirus. So all this anti this is proteins. But here's why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because of last night. I was gonna make this video last night, but I was so angry that I was like I couldn't make I couldn't make it the video. So here's what happened last night. After, you know, I ran my errands with my girl, dropped her off home. I was like, no, I'm gonna go get some Chinese food. I go to a different Chinese spot. And I go there first. I go park the car. This Impala damn near runs into me to go park their car closer to the stores, like where there's no parking. I was like, all right. The chick driving gets out, no mask on, goes into Dollar General. First, I'm like, I know she put a mask on. Because Dollar General, it was a lot of people with Dollar General. I was like, I know she put a mask on. I go into Chinese restaurant. The lady in there had, uh, had a mask hanging from her ear. She sees me. I'm like, you gonna put your mask on? Oh, shit. I don't understand why this shit keep falling off. These are still recorded. Damn it. Yes, I, I gotta hold it now. Hold on, fellas. Hold on, fellas and girls. Alright. Alright. There we go. So I was like, you gonna put your mask on? She puts the mask on. Takes my order. You know, everything in Chinese restaurant is always 10 minutes. <laughs> it's always 10 minutes. I don't know what it is, but it's always 10 minutes. I go outside, I was gonna go in a family drunk because I need it. I gotta get distilled water from my CPAP device. I go in there and I see the chick in there. She ain't got a mask on, bro. You know, walking around, man, close to people. I'm like, yeah, I can't go in there. She come running out. The dude she with gets out, goes in the Chinese restaurant. He has a mask on his chin, goes in the Chinese restaurant, doesn't wear his mask, doesn't put it up. The chick in the store, the Chinese chicken store, doesn't put her mask on. He's in there for like five minutes. He comes out. Then she goes in there without no mask on. And then the chick doesn't put her mask on. She comes out. Then they drive off. I go in there. I'm like, yo, my food done? She goes, no, it's almost done. I was like, you know what? Give me my money back. I was like, you, you out here tripping. You let two people in here with no mask on and you ain't got no mask on. I was like, I was like, this is a goddamn pandemic going around, and you don't know what they got, and you and you just gonna let them talk, and you out here dealing with my food. I was like, give my money back. I gave her her change, and she was mad as hell. I was like, look, and I told her, I was like, I don't care if you're mad. I was like, you out here tripping. I was like, why you got a sign on the door that says you cannot answer without a mask on, and you let two people answer without a mask on, and you over here chit chatting with them without no goddamn mask on, cause none of them walked out with a bag. None, none of them walked out without a bag. So, she gave my money back. And she, I don't know what the hell they did with the fuck. I guess they ate it. But that's on their part. I don't play around with that shit at all. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that shit. So then I go to another store. There's a little, like, uh, uh, 
bodega up at my house. And I see another dude come out the store without a mask on. And I go in and the dude had his mask on. And I asked him, I was like, yo, man, why you let this dude in here with no mask on? He said, yo, man, I asked him if he wanted a mask. He didn't want a mask. He said, I'm trying not to fight these. He said, I don't want to fight and argue with these people. He said, but I told him, I said, if you get caught without a mask, he said, that's a fine and it's, it's a lot of money. He said, but trust me, he said, I, I know what it is out here. I was like, all right. So then I go to Walgreens. The, the, the bodega didn't have what I, what I wanted. I go to Walgreens. And there's another dude in there with no mask on. Just walking around like it ain't nothing. I'm, but I had so much stuff in my hand. I'm like, yo, my God. I was like, what is it? I was like, why are these people walking around, especially around me without no mask on? So the dude checks out and I asked the chick, I was like, yo, why you let that dude in here without no mask on? Oh, we can't enforce, you know, people to wear a mask. Uh, and I thought to myself, I'm like, I remember a couple of years ago, and I asked her, I asked her how old she was, she said she was 36. I was like, you remember that whole movement about when people wasn't letting uh, gay people into their stores because they were gay? And she was like, God damn it. <laughs> I gotta get a new one of these. I don't know what it is. This shit is just. All right. I was like, do you. Do you remember when gay people weren't allowed in the store, blah, blah, blah? I was trying to make a point, but she was so dumb and condescending that it was just making me mad. And she was like, oh, I thought they were accepted everywhere. I'm like, I'm a black man. I'm not accepted everywhere. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you're not paying attention to what's going on? And she was just like, nah, it's, I know it's crazy right now. I'm like, right now? And I was so mad. I was just like, I was like, you know, I just got to leave. I just gotta leave. And she was like, she's like, oh, I can't enforce it, you know, the law. But I bet you, I bet you any amount of money, if I go into any of these stores, I say, you can't, I can't, they can't make me wear a mask. If I go in there without no shoes and no shirt on, I bet you they'll tell me I gotta get out. I bet you any amount of money. And I told her, I said, if you wanted to, you can enforce the, the rules. It's your fucking store. It's your life. You can enforce it. You choose not to. There's a difference. And people need to know the difference. You need to stop playing, man. Like, it's a different time out here. My damn thing keep falling and shit. <laughs> I just don't get it. I, I don't understand the logic behind it. Like, you, you're you more worried about... You, you worry more about money than people's lives. And then these employees are just like, oh, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, say anything. Like your your life ain't that your life ain't important. Your life is important too. Stand up for yourself. And another thing, I don't understand. And this isn't to anybody in particular, but and I know I got you know a couple friends that me and me and we joke around, but. I don't understand people's idea that this vaccine is worse than the than the virus. Now, I'm not saying like like the whole thing with Bill. Uh, we talked about it on at the dinner table with uh, Bill Gates and his and his wife. Yeah, I, I get they're crazy, but the other stuff, the other the actual vaccines. Get get. I feel like you should get vaccinated for certain things. You get vaccinated for you take medicine for other stuff, right? Like I don't understand why you can't take a medicine for this. You use fucking you use condoms when you have sex because you don't know who that person is. Some of y'all do. That's why there's a whole lot of y'all with a whole bunch of babies. Yeah, I said it. Yes, I said that shit. A whole bunch of y'all run around a whole bunch of babies. Because you guys don't want to wear a condom. The same people who don't want to wear a mask. Same people don't want to wear a mask. Same people who don't want to wear condoms. I don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to find a damn parking spot. This shit is just... It just keeps popping off. I don't know what it is. It just literally just keeps popping off. Oh, 
I should have parked right there. All right. All right, I'm outside. All right, so basically what I'm trying to say is that, like, for instance, the people who don't wear a mask, they're okay with going to stores and don't wear a mask. It's equivalent to people who don't want to wear a seat because you get fined the same, like, you get a ticket and a fine if you don't wear your seatbelt. You get fined if you don't wear a mask. Like, I don't understand the logic. The logic doesn't make sense. Wearing a seatbelt will save your life. <laughs> wearing a seatbelt will save your life. Wearing a mask could potentially save your life. Just like wearing a seatbelt could potentially save your life. Wearing a booth of a vest could work, potentially save your life. I don't understand the logic. Like, the, the logic doesn't make sense. But we live in a time now where people don't want logic. They want alternative facts. Thank you, because of this administration. Because of the lies they spread. And by the way, I wasn't going to get into politics, but I, I was just listening to uh, some, some clips. I was listening to the radio this morning. And apparently Donald Trump said that they went over his speech and people have said that his speech was fine and he thought his speech was fine and all the people all the people that read his speech said it was fine it's the other people that think it wasn't fine who is he talking about what people and this is another thing and i know a lot of people do this not just donald trump but other people do this like on social media they'll say something but they ain't got no receipts or no facts behind it like they ain't got no evidence They'll just say the shit. They ain't got no evidence about behind it. It's just their theory. You entitled to your own opinion as a human. You entitled to your own opinion. But you are not entitled to your own facts. Period. You are not entitled to your own facts. And you are not entitled to your own reality. Okay? We all live in this reality. Let me rephrase that. You are entitled to your own, like your reality and like your own box. But everyone lives in their own space you don't talk to your own space but everyone lives in their own reality if that makes sense but yo that whole fact shit, like i don't get it how you make up your own facts uh and people believe it he ain't got it he don't even say where you got it from he just say yeah people say that I, that they do that people do it all the time i see it on my social media all the time people just post certain shit not even from anywhere not even it would just be a picture or or something, and it will just, yeah, this is a real thing. No, it's not. Where'd you get it from? Who made that? That's not even true. I saw something about the uh, the the female, the black female security guard who they attacked. I think it was the night before, or a couple hours before the attack on the Capitol, and she punched that white lady in the face that she deserved. Um. I said that she got fired. Not true at all. That came from Madame Noir. She posted it on the 11th. Not true. She got suspended. And they're going to court. She's not fired. She got suspended. And she didn't retract or update her statement. As far as I, as far as I know. I didn't see any update. And I was researching it. I was looking it up. Because I, I went on to... I believe it was CNN. I think it was CNN. I got to look at it again because I'm on my phone. And they updated their source. So let's uh let's start handing out receipts and evidence. We need to do that more often. I think people keep not doing that and, that, and that's an issue. Especially on social media. Just because you can post something because you like it. You need evidence. People got to do research. Do the research and then fact check your research and then fact check the fact checking of the research. It's your boy Vincent Wolf. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. Check out my other shows and always remember to keep betting on the wolves.